A new exhibit is coming to the Indiana State Museum. And for many, it's going to hit too close to home. It's called Fix, Heartbreak and Hope Inside Our Opioid Crisis. Wish TV's Dan Klein joins us now. And um, a museum and drug use doesn't really seem to go together. Yeah, but it's all in an effort to be relevant. And it's certainly that as communities all across the state and nation deal with the opioid crisis. The goal here is to educate, to be a safe space, and perhaps even save a life or two. When you think of opioids, the state of Indiana may come to mind, but what about the word museum? That's about to change. Alongside artifacts like Fred the Mastodon, under the same roof as an old tractor, or even the vintage Santa Claus Express from Ellis Ayers, will be a new exhibit, Fix, heartbreak and hope inside our opioid crisis. This isn't going to end it. Uh, we want to add to the conversation. One of the biggest goals for this exhibit is to reduce stigma around the opioid crisis. It's the most contemporary exhibit the State Museum has ever attempted, an exhibit two years in the making. Conceptual drawings show the bright colors and welcoming design with a variety of disciplines addressed, science, art, history and humanity, including 16 Hoosiers connected to the crisis who are sharing their story. Many recovering addicts. Vice President of Experience Brian Mancuso says relevancy is where museums are headed. We are making sure that, that the things we're doing here are not just stuff on the wall. They, are, they, they have meaning in your everyday life. FIX is scheduled to open February 1st in the 7,000 square foot space on the third floor currently occupied by Amazed. FIX has an extended run all the way through February 2021 to make sure it catches all audiences, school groups in the spring, families in the summer and giving everyone a chance to tell others and bring a friend. And at the end of the exhibit, there will be a resource area for materials from community groups, a chance to provide a real fix for those who want help. So maybe museum and opioids go together after all. If they want to uh, learn about recovery, if they want to hand it to someone to have a brave conversation, that would be great. About 120,000 people visit the Indiana State Museum every year. Another 55,000 visit the other 11 historic sites around the state. There will also be some programming in those locations. Again, it's set to open February 1st. Reporting in the studio, Dan Klein, Wish TV News 8. All right, Dan, thank you. New